Good morning. We're back. Now, I am going to preface this video with the um, information that I have an, a new upstairs neighbor. And um, the neighbor that lived upstairs for me for 10 years, 11 years, uh, died two years ago. And the apartment was empty for two years. And oh my, how peaceful it was in this apartment. Oh my God. Um, and now people have moved in upstairs about a month ago and they have a toddler. <laughs> and I savor the moments when the toddler is napping. And the toddler is up earlier than normal today. And he's just running. He's running and running and running. He runs a lot. He runs and then he falls down and then he cries. And um, yeah, it's apartment living. I've lived in apartments my entire adult life. So I'm used to it to a degree. But like I said, I had a very peaceful two years and now I'm trying to get used to it. Um, so you might hear the dum, 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 just the running. I think that this kid weighs 750 pounds. I'm not sure. Anyway, we're going to continue. We ended with Mulan, and now we're going to go on to My Dear Watson. I am very swollen this morning because um, my kid made um, pork ribs last night for dinner. My kid is an amazing chef. Uh, he's 14 years old, and he's probably going to go to culinary school. He's just an amazing cook. Um, but there was a lot of salt, so <laughs> I'm, I'm drinking my water this morning. Anyway... Mystery Man. No, sorry. My Dear Watson. <clears throat> Where is My Dear Watson? How come it's not on my list? Okay, hold on one second. No, it's there. For some reason, I just couldn't see it. That was ridiculous. Bergamot contrasted with mint, cedar, and suede. This is a dude fragrance. I literally just had this delivered um, <clears throat> three days ago with my Scentsy Club. And that is that, okay? So um, I think it was Matt who commented on my video this morning from yesterday. He said, no, I hang my bars vertically. There's no problems. He's only had a handful of ones that sweated. Listen, I don't know. I don't know. It, maybe it's the barometer. This is from three months ago. And this is from three days ago. Glisteny. Whatever. After Shavy, my dear Watson is. I'm speaking like Yoda, I am. My Hero, Cool Citrus and White Birch Ride, A Current of Crisp Air <clears throat> from the Father's Day Collection a year ago. This is not a year old. This was delivered in the same delivery as this one. It, I, I'm maybe I have ghosts. I don't know. My Hero is fantastic. I love it. <clears throat> okay. My Home is in my Scentsy Club. Mm -hmm. My Home. Look at that. That's perfect. I love My Home. Um... Spicy cinnamon and floral scent. Now listen, if you like Welcome Home, you'll love my home. But I don't like Welcome Home. I mean, I love my home. So, I don't know. Does that make sense? I don't know. Mystery Man. Mystery Man and My Dear Watson go hand in hand very often. Uh, warm white cedar, green verbena, and citrusy bergamot. It's like the same notes, right? My Dear Watson is bergamot, mint, cedar, suede. Yeah, I don't even know why they made these. They had these two on the market together for a while. Mm. <clears throat> they don't smell exactly the same, but they have the same notes. So, uh, Newborn Nursery, I have two of them. I don't really know why. I can't stand this wax, but that's beautiful. This smells like straight up uh, baby powder. Let me just check this one. Perfect. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, Gridiron Rush, I have two. Now, I... I alphabetize these under NFL and NHL, not the fragrance title. I don't know why I did that. Um, <clears throat> NFL is citrus, apple, a dash of fresh cut grass, and sandalwood. I like gridiron rush a lot. It's not really leaky. Well, yeah, it's not leaking. Look at this. Um, I like this fragrance a lot. <clears throat> I like it more than the fresh ice, This the NHL. Um, which is cold air and icy mint and sandalwood. It's broken. Very wet. Okay. Two of those and two of those. Mulan. Not your everyday dragon. Oh, I hate this wax. Papaya nectar, mango, and red ginger flower. It's very, very boring. Uh, just so forgettable. Sorry, but not my thing. Now and Zen is very nice. It's in the catalog right now. Uh, sunny grapefruit and calming chamomile. Mmm. -hmm. I only bought this a couple of weeks ago. I like it. I like now and then. Um, oats and honey. <clears throat> no. <laughs> Not my thing. Toasted oats, 
Tupelo Honey. I like that song. She's as sweet as Tupelo Honey. Vanilla and maple. <clears throat> I've got something in my throat. It's in my throat. Uh, okay. Um, no. No. I don't like it. Ocean. I've got a lot of oceans. I have three oceans. There's two here and then there's one in the next uh, tray. Ocean is aquatic notes, water lilies, and ocean breezes. I love ocean because of memories that it brings back. It's turning a little bit grayish. Ocean is fantastic. Ocean used to be great in the laundry line. Mmm, loved it. So that one's a little greasy. This one is good, although the color is a little off. Like I said, I have three of them, so there's the third. <clears throat> oh boy. Oh boy is great. I told you that I don't really like the Disney scents oh so much, but I do like oh boy. Grapefruit mixed with bright clementine and sugared vanilla. I didn't think I was going to like this, but I do. I think it's strong. I like it. It smells a little bit like bubble gum. Olaf. Um, not really sure why I have two bars of this. I did have a, br there's a brick in this house somewhere. I can't find it. <laughs> I have an Olaf brick in this house somewhere. Olaf is snow covered woods and warm vanilla with a surge of cool mint. It's a forgettable fragrance. It's very mild. It's very, um, <clears throat> it's, it wants to be vanilla mint but it's not quite there. It's kind of like fresh ice that I just talked about, but that one is a little, it's a little mellow for that too. Eh, it's just, nah. Nah, 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 nah. Pacific sandalwood. There are people that go crazy about this. I didn't think this was so great. Vanilla cashmere. Now, usually anything that has cashmere in the, in the description, I love. That's why I was very excited about this wax. And then I was very bummed out when it didn't turn me on. Vanilla cashmere, cozy cotton and Pacific sandalwood. Perfect. It's just not, it's just completely forgettable. I don't know, whatever. Painted Leaves, I have four bars of it and I have to take it out of my Scentsy Club because I, I like this fragrance, but I don't like it that much, okay? Look, I, listen, I'm not gonna say it over and over again. Blue Spruce, Red Maple, and Golden Woods. So now I gotta look at all the others. These are all new and they're all degrading at different speeds. <clears throat> Palm Beach Breeze. I also have three of these. This is in my Scentsy Club from last year. Uh, this, this was in the summer collection, right? Um, peach, lush palm greens and a hint of salty ocean musk. I like this a lot. I'm probably going to warm it today, maybe. Okay. Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze. This is the scent of the month right now. No, not for another week. Uh, this is the May scent of the month. It is um, peach, lush palm greens, and a hint of salty ocean. Wait, did I just say that? No, that's palm beach breeze. Hold on. Palm trees and ocean breeze is palm leaf, fresh coconut water. It's got the scent categories there. It's okay. It's it's nice. It's nice. It, it actually had a nice lingering thing. Okay. Paradise Punch. This is very punchy, but it's a perfect bar. Paradise Punch is orange and sunny lemon juice, acai berries, and star fruit, or as everybody else says, acai, acai berries. It's acai berries. Um, it's all right. Paradise Punch smells like high C, and I'm not into high C. Pastelitos. Luscious pineapple, lime, and a splash of dark rum. Mmm. It's only okay. I That whole collection sort of uh, got away from me. That was from the uh, Cubano Gobogo collection, right? <laughs> I'm making fun of how people say acai, and I can't even say the Cubano collection or whatever it was. Anyway, peach nectar, um, peach skin, and blue freesia. Peach skin. <laughs> and blue freesia settle into a bed of billowy musk clouds. <clears throat> I have... A frog in my throat. Oh, I wish it was stronger. Anyway. Okay. Peppermint Dreams. Chocolate cupcake cooled by a blast of fresh mint. If something is, is scented or flavored, chocolate, why would you make it white? It throws me off. I was never really into this fragrance anyway. Perfect oatmeal. I don't know how old this bar is. I don't know. 
Brown sugar oatmeal toasted almonds with juicy dark currant. Now, I love currant, and I don't smell any kind of fruit or any kind of tanginess in this. It just smells like sort of like cinnamon to me. Uh, perfect pumpkin pear. Pumpkin, crisp golden pears, cloves, and sandalwood. A little juicy. It's okay. It's, it, it's good for fall. It's very seasonal. Perfectly pomegranate. I have a whole brick of it. I'm not really sure why I bought that. Um, dark and juicy pomegranate with a sweet berry finish. This is a gorgeous fragrance. It's good all year round, but I don't, I don't know why I, I don't warm it. I just don't. Okay, um, Petal Pals. I'm not even going to open this bar of wax because I, I don't like it, okay? Uh, it's pink rose and peony share a whipped marshmallow treat. I don't like that fragrance. Don't, I don't know why. I just don't. Phineas and Ferb. Um, I really, I think this might be one of the ones that I haven't warmed. I never got around to warming it. It's not in my club and I didn't hear very good things about it. So I didn't bother. I figured I was just going to sell it to somebody who likes Phineas and Ferb. Um, Mandarin, strawberry and lush palms. Yeah, it's, it's all right. <clears throat> Pick for you. I liked this one a lot. This is from the Mother's Day collection two years ago, I think. Lychee Blossom, Honeydew Melon, and White Amber. I had a bunch of these and I warmed through them. It's street, it's extremely, it's extremely, it's extremely floral. Picked for you is basically flowers, okay? Uh, I also have pots. Pina, uh, Pina Colada Cha Cha. <clears throat> Coconut, pineapple, white rum, vanilla bean. It smells exactly like what you would think it is. It smells like a pina colada. Uh, pineapple and fuego. This one intrigued me. But it, uh, when I warmed it, I wasn't as intrigued anymore, if that makes any sense. Pineapple, nectar, sugar cane, and a dash of sriracha. And that sriracha never really came through, um, or it never really made itself known. Unlike chili mango, which I wish I had in my Sensi Club, because I, I just warmed through the last, I, I might have two cubes left. I love chili mango. <clears throat> it's Listen, it's a mango scent, which is now growing on me, but it also has like a peppery thing, and it's really nice. It makes it perfumey. Pineapple pucker is just fresh pineapple. That's, the, that's what the description says, and that's what it is. It's fresh pineapple. I'm not a huge fan of pineapple in fragrance, but... It is what it is. And I've, I've got a ton of it. Look, all this pineapple. Pineapple pucker. Pineapple pucker is, no, sorry, pineapple sorbet is a scoop of pineapple sorbet. Sweet and tart. Perfect. This is an older bar of wax. If you see a sticker on it, that means it's a little bit older because I used to put the stickers on. Um, pink haze. I had this in my Scentsy Club for a while and then I took it out. Berries, nectarines, vanilla laced, whipped cream, marshmallow fondant. It's an older bar. You can see it's a little yellowing, like a halo around it, you know? It's okay. It's, um, I like sugar better. And if you like pink haze, then just go ahead and get sugar. Although you can't get sugar now anyway. Sugar is discontinued. Um, pink sugarberry mint. This was the scent of the month last month. Or, yeah. Now? No. Now is plumeria peach. So this was last month. This was March. Um... Where are we? Plump raspberry, sugar, and a hint of peppermint. Very nice. I like this one a lot. Out of the last, like, six months of scent of the month, this was my favorite. Liked it a lot. Had good lasting power. Uh, on to pink tulips, which I think I am going to be taking out of my Scentsy Club if I haven't already. Pink tulips is described as crisp apple, juicy raspberries, and a hint of night-blooming jasmine. I have three of these. Very good. Very good lasting power. Okay. Okay, don't judge because there's a lot of purple bars in here. Okay, don't judge. Pistachio ice cream. I don't know why I have this. I think I ordered it by mistake because I really don't like this. Uh, I love pistachio ice cream to eat, but not to fragrance my house. Um, pistachio ice cream and coconut garnish vanilla meringue is what the description is. And, uh, well, actually this bar smells very light. It might be losing its oomph. Anyway, if I, if I pop it out of the clamshell, it'll probably smell stronger on the bottom, but I don't want to disturb it because I still want to be able to sell it. It's still in good condition. Um, Plum and White Woods, I do have six bars of this. Okay, don't judge me. This is one of my absolute favorite fragrances of all time. Raspberry Preserves, Damson Plum, Weave Through Vanilla. I absolutely love them. I don't even care if they're juicy. I'm just going to use them all for myself. I'm not even going to go through them. I have six bars. 
Plumeria peach is the scent of the month right now. Ripe pineapple, luscious peach, and blooming plumeria. And it's nice. It's, um, it's nice. It's, uh, a little, uh, Mm, the, 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 if you're not into florals, you're not going to like it. Although the peach is stronger than the florals. And again, don't judge me about the, um, the poppy fields. Okay. Poppy fields was in the clearance section for like a month or something like that. And every time I placed an order, I put another couple of bars in there because I do love poppy fields. I always mix it though. I never, uh, warm it straight. Um, I only warm it gay. It was a scent of the month a million years ago. I think in 2019 or something like that. And look, these are still from that batch because they still have the sticker on them. So these bars are old, even though they weren't purchased all that long ago. Poppy Fields is romantic red poppy, fig, and rose petals. You know I love rose. You know I love fig, okay? So they're all juicy, but they smell amazing. It's still really a strong fragrance. <clears throat> um, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't regret that <laughs> pretty and plaid freaks me out because bam it's green bam it's red uh this was a really good fragrance though uh pretty and plaid was a scent of the month i think in christmas time of 2018 um and then they put it into the catalog i'm pretty sure uh juniper berries minty fresh wintergreen douglas fir tart cranberries this is straight up christmas oh yeah straight up christmas i love it Prince Ali was in my sense. It was in my club for a while, and then I ended up taking it out. It is a little juicy, not so bad. It was next to something else, though, at one point. I don't think this is the, its oil. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Prince Ali is bright lemon, smooth musk, and warm sandalwood. I love it. Oh, I absolutely love it. But I, there's just only so many bars that I can have in my Scentsy Club. Come on, please. Pristine Waters. Everybody went crazy about this, and I'm not sure why they took it away. Drift Easy Over Fresh Bergamot Zest, Beach Grass, and Vetiver. This is a uh, dude. It smells like Davidoff Cool Water. Very nice. <clears throat> Pumpkin Cinnamon Swirl. Mm, it's real sweet. Pumpkin Cinnamon Stick and a dollop of whipped icing. Perfect. Barb Wax. So sweet. Oh, my God. Like, I can't even. Pumpkin Roll. I remember I avoided warming this like for years and then when I finally warmed it I was really mad at myself that I hadn't warmed it before because it's a really nice fragrance even if you're not a bakery person pumpkin pie filling with yellow cake pecans butter and spice so imagine like the roll like a Swiss roll kind of thing but with pumpkin in it and you really smell all that the yellow cake is like really weird because that's what you smell it's yellow cake quiet clementine was from the Hugue collection <laughs> And I remember when Heidi and Orville revealed the Hig collection at Sense Family Reunion, and we were all like, what the hell are you talking about? And they, they said that Hig in some other language, Norwegian or something like that, that it just basically means comfort. So here we are. We are, this is the whole, I also have woolly slippers down there. There was, a, there was five bars of wax, and Hig uh, came out with Quiet Clementine. Which is, um, ba -ba -bum, where are you? Sweet orange, vanilla orchid, and sandalwood. It's very nice. I don't know why I'm not warming it. Um, it's a little, it's, it's very citrusy, but it's also got the warm, the vanilla thing. And so it's got a little bit of a, um, like a, a dreamsicle, creamsicle kind of a thing. And that's usually not my gig. Okay. Quiet Grove is in my Scentsy Club. I have three of them. I love Quiet Grove. Bergamot, Jasmine, and Sandalwood. I love all three of those things. And the bars are a little wet, but that's okay. They're new, but they're wet. Whatever. Rainforest on paper is my spirit animal, but for some reason it is a little bit boring to me. Uh, amber soft musk, earthy fern, crisp citrus, and ripe berries. But it's boring. It's nice, but it's boring. The Christmas collection last year, I told you that I didn't warm the gingerbread thing. I didn't warm the cookies for Santa. And I also didn't warm this. I have a hard time with this fragrance. I don't know why. It hurts my face. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what's wrong with this uh, bar. It's not, it's not the bar's fault. Other people love it. Other people put it into a Scentsy Club. It's like, I don't know why. Look, it's like a, a pool. Um... I, I have not 
I, I can't bring myself to warm this wax. Don't know why. Redwood and Cedar is in, was in my Scentsy Club and it is coming out because I absolutely don't need any more than the three bars that I have. Uh, by the way, red berry and spruce, cranberry, raspberry swirled with a sprig of blue spruce. Okay. Redwood and Cedar. I have three of them. Reminiscent of a cedar closet. That's all it says. I too love it though. God damn it. Okay, sorry. Rio Beach. Rio Beach is coconut milk, tropical fruit, and tonka bean. Um, it's too much like um sunbathing lotion, sun tanning lotion to me. Um, it's I'm not a beach person. I don't really like the beach. If you like the beach, you like Rio Beach, okay? Rise and Sunshine was a scent of the month. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Eight months ago, something like that. Orange, cherry, and red berries. Whatever. Nah. 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 <laughs> I'm um, there's too much wax in my face. Rock and Ruby Raz. This has been in the on the website and off the website and on the website and off the website. And this was from the Easter collection last year or two years ago, I don't remember. Uh this is a good wax though. Orange, fresh strawberry, and candy glaze. Again, I like candy in uh fragrances. Uh Route 66. I thought that I was going to love this, and I remember this from my kit back in 2014. Um, where is it? An exhilarating breeze of citrus, herbs, and musk. When I, when I first became a Scentsy consultant, they actually had this in like, it was like a deodorant stick. It was like a white powdery stick that you could rub on your pulse points and on your neck and stuff like that, and I had the Route 66 one for a really long time. I also had it in the... Uh, at that time, they they had, a, what was it called? Cream wash. It wasn't body wash and it wasn't lotion. It was like, it was almost like conditioner for your skin. It was really cool. Sensi, bring that back. I don't even remember what it's called. Rum Raisin Cookie. Uh, people were really upset when they took this out of the catalog. Cookie dough, rum, raisin, and rum, raisin, and clove. I'm putting the comma in the wrong place there. Rum raisin cookie is good. It really smells like rum raisin. You can smell the rum. You can smell the raisin. But it's a little too cinnamony for me. Rustic Lodge. I love Rustic Lodge, but it's very seasonal. It, it's injured. Um, you can't warm this in the summertime. It makes you feel warm, okay? Uh, I have three bars of it. Warm cedar, oak, wood smoke, and fallen leaves. Oh, it's so, it's so nice. Oh, it's just memories. I have memories of warming Rustic Lodge. Like I said, I have uh, three bars of Rustic Lodge. Saddle Up, I have two bars of it. Don't really know why. Saddle Up is described as soft suede, aged leather, and sheer musk. If you like weathered leather, if you like cruising from the Father's Day collection last year, if you like sheer leather, you'll probably like Saddle Up. I don't understand why they have this and weathered leather in the catalog at the same time, but that's why they're scentsy and I'm just me. Okay. Salted lavender. I did not like this. I wanted to like it because I love lavender. English lavender with ocean minerals, timber wood. This is from the, the international collection. So the scent notes in the international collection were a little weird for our nose. In different parts of the world, not even different parts of the country, different parts of the world, they're familiar with things that we're not familiar with. Like, I don't really know what um, timber wood is, <laughs> okay? Perfect. Just not, I don't know what it is, I just don't like it. Okay, Scarlet Woods, just talked about it because it's in my melting basket. I have four bars and it is still in my Scentsy Club and it's not going anywhere, I don't think. Uh, Cassis and Red Berry over, bleh. Cassis and Red Berry over Crisp White Cedar. Perfect. I love Scarlet Woods. I love it. I love it. I love the berry of it. I love the spice of it. Ugh. Sea Sun Fun is salt water, orange twist, lily petals, and amber. It's okay. It's summery for sure. Sheer leather. This is what we're talking about. Like, why have the. They're both in this. Why? Whatever. Sheer leather is described as bergamot, a subtle hint of leather, and sandalwood. Yeah, yeah. It smells just like every other leather scent that we have. Shine. Shine is from the hashtag collection, just like Dream Big and what was the other one? Big Life? 
Shoes Life. I don't remember what the other one was. Um, best Life. <laughs> Got it. Shine is Taraco Orange, Citron, Wildflower, and Creamy Musk. Again, you're talking about orange and like sweet together. Yeah, and it gives you the creamsicle thing. I don't understand. Well, I don't know. That's why it's there and I haven't used it yet, right? Silver Bells. Silver Bells is nice, man. Minty candy canes, pear, caramel, and vanilla sugar. I had a brick of Silver Bells and I warmed through the whole damn thing. I love Silver Bells. It's not even really Christmassy to me. It, it, candy cane is in, in the title, but candy cane. Hey, candy cane. Candy cane. Anybody out there know candy cane? Simply Vanilla, I have two of these. I did have it in my Scentsy Club and then I took it out. And Simply Vanilla is actually a little bit boring, but it is the very first wax that I ever warmed. A bar of it came in my kit. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, Wait. what? That sounds really bad, doesn't it? Oh my God, let me, re let me rephrase that. There was a bar in my kit included with all of the other stuff that was in my kit. And it was a full bar. It was this and I think black raspberry vanilla. I'm not sure. I can't remember what the other one was, but I remember that Simply Vanilla was the first wax that I ever warmed. And while Simply Vanilla is titled Simply Vanilla, it actually has French vanilla with a touch of coconut milk. So I'm not sure why they call it Simply Vanilla because it does have a little bit of coconut in it. And I'm not really a huge fan of coconut, but this is for sentimental reasons that I have that in there. Okay, Skinny Dippin'. Fresh green apples with melons and juicy pears. Yeah, comes back every year. Snowberry, I love snowberry. And I only just fell in love with it like two weeks before the fall winter season ended. And it's been in the fall and winter catalog every year since I've been a Scentsy consultant, but for some reason it just, it got away from me. But now I have it in my Scentsy club so I can actually warm it whenever I want. And it is not a Christmas fragrance. It's not holiday. Loganberry, strawberry, peppermint, and zesty cinnamon. I don't smell cinnamon in here, but oh God, I love it. I wish I had it in the pods for my car. Okay, I have two bars of snowberry. I have snow-kissed cranberry, which I do like very much. Uh, cranberries, fresh powder, white balsam, sugared woods. I think this is the scent of the month a couple years ago, right? Very nice snow kissed cranberries. Snuggle up. There's no reason for me to have this. And jammy time in my club. I'm probably going to take this out and leave jammy time in there only because this is, it's a dupe. It, but it's still fantastic. Uh, settle down in cashmere woods, curled up with angel lavender and soothing sage. Oh, oh, I love it. I love it so much. Southern evening, two of these. French lavender, geranium, subtle fruits, and white musk. If you're a smoker, whether you smoke weed or you smoke cigarettes or whatever, Southern Evening is really good for blasting out the any kind of smoke odors. Or if you had a fire and you can't get it off the walls or something. Very good. Unfortunately, it's not available. So if you're interested in Southern Evening, just give me a, a shout and I can try to find some Southern Evening for you. Okay. Southern Sweet Tea. I'm not look crazy about this. A splash of juicy peach, orange juice, and white tea. It's peach tea, for sure. It's got peach in there, and I, uh, I, I like it. It's all right. Mm. Spice berries. I don't even know how long ago I got this. I think this was a long time ago. Frankincense, myrrh, berries. Um, why don't I warm this? Oh, yeah. Eh. It's, it's nice. It smells like incense. It's nice. It smells like church. Spice grapefruit is great. I just uh, finished a bar, I think. Uh, mandarin, bergamot, citrus, uh, spicy coriander, nutmeg, allspice. It's kind of like black tea. It reminds me of Mandarin Moon, if anybody remembers Mandarin Moon. Spiced pear. I'm hoarding this because I do love anything pear, and spiced pear is very nice. Simmered pear and plum cider, cider entice rich vanilla wood. Whatever. The color of the wax makes me want to vomit. It looks like meconium <laughs> and baby's poop. 
Oh, but I just love spiced pear. It's fantastic. Um, here's another one from that shitty mix it collection, spun sugar. I, I hate this wax. Ah, I can't stand it. Spun sugar and vanilla. That's what it says it is, but it smells like burned sugar to me. Uh, squeeze the day. Everybody loves squeeze the day. It was a scent of the month. Holy cow. June of 2018 I believe with the lemonade pitcher oh, it was such that was such a fun set of set that was such a fun scent of the month kit oh my god it was just so bright and cheery and everything um squeeze the day is tart lemon with a hint of vanilla cream I love squeeze the day oh maybe I'll warm it today I'll everything I'll warm everything today <laughs> mm. <laughs> look at this look Ooh. Okay, Star Wars. I actually have this listed under Star Wars, but it's supposed to be under Dark Side of the Force, okay? I have Light Side of the Force list listed under L, but I have Dark Side of the Force listed under Star Wars. Don't know why. Don't come at me. Uh, it is described as lavender, Madagascar, ginger, vetiver, and agar wood. It is a fantastic fragrance, but it is a juicy, honking, leaking mess. Oh, I do love it, though. Damn. Uh, sticky cinnamon bun. Nah, you know what this smells like. It smells like a sticky cinnamon bun. And I don't even like to eat this. Cinnamon, sweet icing, nutty nuances. Dry as a bone. Really strong. Sticky cinnamon bun is a good one if you like that kind of stuff. I did have Stitch 626 in my Scentsy Club for a while, and then I took it out, only because I wasn't warming through it. It's still a fantastic fragrance. Valencia orange, pineapple nectar, sugar cane, and sea salt mist. I don't know one person who has tried this wax and said, eh, it's not that great. Everybody loves Stitch 626. It's so clean. It lasts. It's perfumey, but it's not over the top perfumey. It's not floral. It's perfect. Strawberry and rock melon. Everybody went crazy over this. I did not understand what the big deal was. Uh, I think I have two of these. Rock melon, strawberry jam, and a whisper of hibiscus. Perfect. Eh, it's just okay. It's very melony. <laughs> It's very melony, but it's um, it's just not not that exciting to me. I don't know. Like I said, I have two strawberry rock melon, uh, strawberry rose. I like this one. This was a scent of the month a couple years ago. Yeah, I well, I like rose and I like strawberry, so whatever. Uh, strawberry roses, strawberries, and soft rose petals with a touch of sheer musk. Yeah, it's a good one. Uh, Shoe waffle delight is ew. It's so sweet. Vanilla, rich melted butter, and cinnamon. It's very buttery. Oh, yeah. Oof. It's like dairy. You can smell the dairy in it. Sugar. I only have two, two bars of sugar left. Oh, my God. I had, I had a lot for a while there. Sugar is one of my all-time favorites. It's a fruity blend of lemon drops and cotton candy. I don't smell lemon drops in here. It's just... It's such a fantastic, feminine, sweet... I want it in perfume. I, I mean, you can get it... You can't get it from Scentsy in perfume, but they have, you know, different kinds of perfumes around that smell like this. It's, it's enough. I don't need to smell everything fantastic all the time because there's a lot of different levels of fantastic for me. Okay. Sugar cookie. Sugar cookie is warm, sweet blend of butter, sugar, and creamy vanilla. This is really super light to my nose. I really don't smell it when I warm it at all. Um, I know that a lot of people add sugar cookie to things that they feel like are too strong. My, I don't understand that philosophy. Just use a half a cube. Why would you water it down with, like, if, if, if you were drinking lemonade and it was too, you know, potent, I would understand watering that down because it's as you experience it. But all you'd have to do is just put a half a cube in a warmer instead of a full cube or something like that. Why would you, anyway, whatever. Sugar cookie is a staple. It's been in the catalog since I've been a uh, consultant. Sugar and spice, black licorice, spicy, herbal, and sweet. Mm. I think I am going to, um, remember, I don't know if you saw my melting basket from a couple, of, uh, no, my empties. I ran out of root beer for my husband. You know what? I'm going to leave this aside and he's going to bring that to work and he's going to love it. My husband loves root beer anything. Okay. So I have to take this off my list. Uh, sugar cherry is very nice. I like cherry fl uh, flavors. I like cherry flavors, but I also like cherry fragrance. Bright, sweet, candied cherries, holiday spice. It doesn't have too much spice in it. It's not a Christmassy thing. Sugar cherry is really nice. If you can get your hands on it, it's nice. Let's do this. Uh, summer holiday. Love it. 
In fact, I'm in the middle of uh, warming a bar of this. Lush Plumeria, Tiger Lily, Sweet Orange, Vanilla, and Radiant Amber. Oh, my God. I love summer holiday. Summer Sunshine, Pineapple, Coconut, Mandarin. Boring, boring, boring. Yeah, boring. Okay. Um, Sunkissed Citrus has been in the catalog since I've been a consultant. Lively blend of oranges, lemons, limes, and grapefruit. So it's everything citrus, and it's fantastic. It, it has its place in my life. Thunderstorm. I should have put this in my Scentsy Club, but I mean, I can't. How, how many? I, I can't. How many bars? Mm. Thunderstorm is has a weird description. If you dig hard enough on the internet you will find somebody that says it has rose and this and that and blah, blah, blah. But according to Sensi, the description of this fragrance is sharp, spicy, outdoor fragrance like the breeze in a storm. Hi. <laughs> that says nothing. It, I do smell rose, though. It's got a crispness. It's like a masculine rose flavor, fragrance, okay? Toasted Marshmallow, not to be confused with the Toasted Marshmallow that just recently came out in the Easter collection. This one is from the Jelly Belly Wax collection, um, still in perfect shape, and it really does smell like the Toasted Marshmallow Jelly Bean, okay? It's kind of creepy, actually. Twitter Pated. This is really boring. Oh, my God. Just like this video. Twitter Pated is uh, Meyer Lemon Morning Dew Wild Moss. Thought I was going to like it more than I did, but I don't whatever vanilla bean buttercream in the scentsy catalog right now buttercream frosting butter cane sugar vanilla extract it's okay vanilla oud was in my set uh, is in my scentsy club and then i took it out i don't remember this is a good one but how many vanilla fragrances can i have okay i do love vanilla don't really like the sweet don't really like the bakery like that but i do like a vanilla and wood combination kind of a thing and that's what this is Sweet Vanilla, Leather, and Earthy Oudwood. How many of these do I have? I have three Vanilla Ouds. There's two there. And one here. And then I have two Vanilla Suede's now, and they're right next to each other. They smell, it smells like, uh, Vanilla Suede and Vanilla Oud is kind of like peanut butter and jelly. They don't smell the same, but they smell great together, or you can eat them separate. <laughs> Whatever. Vanilla Suede, I think I like a little bit more than Vanilla Oud. Uh, vanilla Amber and Hints of Sandalwood and Spice. That's Vanilla Suede. I have two of those, and it is in my Scentsy Club. Vanilla Mint. Wintergreen Frost sparkles over vanilla and frozen citrus. It's okay. It has its place. This is fantastic in pods. Again, if you're a smoker, get this in the pods and then use your Scentsy Go. The Scentsy Go is the strongest... Um, fan diffuser system i believe that we have because we have three things we have the wall fan diffuser we have the mini fan diffusers that just plug into the usb and then we have this the, the sensi go i actually lost my sensi go i i left one in a hotel and then i think it's at my kid's school and the kid's school has been shut down since last march so because i used to be on the um, parent association board i think that's where my sensi go is i have to go i have to ask the janitor to go into the um parent association room and get that for me walnut raisin muffin i hated this wax and the only reason why i have it in my collection is because it was left over from a scent of the month back last year or something like that uh oven baked muffin cinnamon golden raisins and walnuts making the samples of this for my customers was like torture hated it sorry i shouldn't hate anything right we're almost at the end i'm so tired wassail not to be confused with wassail wonderland which is right over there wassail is fruity bouquet of tan tangy fruity bouquet of tangy oranges apples and spices now i do love to drink wassail especially if it's spiked this does not smell like wassail to me i love wassail wonderland broken it's from a couple of years ago uh wassail wonderland his orange zest lemon cinnamon fur needles very christmasy oh i just love it i love it it's so completely different from wassail wassail wonderland is fantastic watermelon tangerine why do i have this this is in the summer collection something blah 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 blah, blah. no why do i have this this is a repeat this is recent oh my god my brain is fried can you tell I'm done with this. 
uh, watermelon tangerine. Do I need to go into sweet watermelon slices, juicy tangerine and dewy greens, tangerine and dewy greens. Here we go with more leather, weathered leather. This is really hard for me to smell. It's really soothe. It's just, it's people who love it, love it. Okay. Great in the pods. And also, even if you just needed a scent circle in your car, it's going to make your car smell brand new. Okay. Um, welcome home. Like I said, is if you like welcome home, you're going to love my home. But if you love my home, you might not like welcome home quite so much. This is really spicy. I don't really like it so much. It's very different from my home. It's too spicy for me. I'm just blowing through them now. Welcome summer. This was a scent of the month. Uh, I don't remember how long ago. Um, refreshing watermelon, lush uh, wild plumeria and tropical waters. Wow. <laughs> very crisp, very clean. Eh, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. We're all mad here. The only reason why I have this is because I ordered two of them. I warmed through one and was bored out of my fucking mind. <laughs> Plum, strawberry, pink sugar, a bright burst of fizz. Yeah, it's got all that, but, you know, we have all that kind of stuff. Anyway, White Sands, I've got three of these. Love it. Night Blooming Jasmine, Coconut Milk, and Rice. Not even going to open them up because even if they're juicy, I'm going to keep them anyway. White Out. I actually have five bars of White Out because one of my kids' teachers loves it. And I'm, actually, it's the assistant principal at his school. And unfortunately, I can't go to the school to deliver any of it. They don't, they don't let people into the school. So I'm just holding on to those until, you know, the country opens back up again and I can go and deliver her those. But he's actually leaving that school now at the end of this year. So there's the other four of the whiteout. And you see there's there's only one layer here because we're at the end. <laughs> Yay! Whiteout is described as peppermint, golden apple, and finished... Wait, peppermint, golden apple, woody winter pine. Okay, wild watermelon. And I said watermelon because that's what says watermelon, right? Watermelon, green apple, sugared pineapple. It's okay. Watermelon is nice. Whatever. Winterberry apple tea. Everybody loves this. I don't know why. <laughs> it's really, it's too spicy for me. It's got cinnamon in it, even though it doesn't say it in the uh, description. Winter tea, cranberry, apple, and honey. I smell cinnamon. I don't know. Whatever. Again, from the Hugue collection. I thought I was going to love this a lot more than I do. Sugared lavender, marshmallow, and vanilla. Love lavender. Love vanilla. Boring, light. Mm -mm. No. World Traveler. I'm probably never going to uh, warm this bar of wax, to be honest with you. Um, I had this in my Scentsy Club for about a year. And then I took it out of my Scentsy. I'm not going to, I'm going to try not to get sad here. Uh, I took it out of my Scentsy Club, but wish I hadn't. Because this was uh, somebody who joined Scentsy under me. Uh, I think she was the second or third person to ever join my team ever back in 2016. And uh, she passed away. And this is her absolute fa favorite fragrance. To be perfectly honest with you, I'm having a little bit of trouble with Scentsy Corporate because they're not canceling her uh, website. And um, she still has a Scentsy Club subscription. And it bumped to me for some reason when she passed away, but they're still keeping her website active. So I'm not sure why the Scentsy order bumped to my website. I, I, I've been on the phone with Scentsy a million times. So now I had to call her husband and tell her husband to just cancel the credit card so that it didn't process again, because he's like, they keep on sending Scentsy to my house and I don't want to deal with this. I'm, so, I'm bringing this video down, sorry. Um, <clears throat> anyway, it's been a struggle. This was her absolute favorite fragrance. She had a six pack in her Scentsy Club. She used to get a six pack, six pack of this, six pack of this every three months. So you know how much you love that, right? So I'm going to leave this one off to the side also because I'm just never, I don't even want it to get mixed up with that. I never want to get rid of that bar of world travel. It is fantastic. Blackberry, dark pomegranate and oak bark. It's a it's a great fragrance. I don't know why I took it out of my Scentsy Club. I could kick myself. And last but not least, your pal Mickey is discontinued. Uh, green apple, orange blossom, and fresh spring air. This is a perfect bar of wax. I would not sell this for any less than $6.50 because uh, it's discontinued. It's a collector's item at this point. Whatever. So that's it. That's it. Now, the only other thing I showed you yesterday, the only other things that I have in here, 
I have some dryer discs, which I don't go through as fast as the other stuff when I get the Laundry Love bundle. I have a Snow Kiss Cranberry Brick. That looks like it's getting a little juicy. Ugh, whatever. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at that. It's... I've never even opened this. What? Hold on. Don't ask, please. <laughs> what? When did that happen? It ate through. It ate through the plastic. Is it? Is the plastic broken? It. Why did that happen? Look. I'm. You know what? Whatever. Whatever. There's my wax walkthrough. If you have any questions, let me know. Metallicamom at Outlook.com. Bye.